Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Welcome in, Raiders. Welcome aboard the SSS Moorhorny. My name is Minx. I'm the captain of this close to fuck of a ship. I'm a Zyoka. I have the White Tiger variety. I wonder. I've ceased my wandering this evening. I'm going to be playing Soma. Hopefully, I'll beat it. If I beat it too early in the stream, I'm going to switch to Vampire. That is the plan. Oh, thank you, Bear. Thank you, Rouse Bear. You're so sweet. Thank you. What were you playing? Did you have a good time? And where is this? What is this hype train? Wait, what? Wait, yeah. Uh. Where did that come from? Put that away. Put 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 that hype train away. I I'm. D d d d d d d hmm. Thank you for two months, Rosbear, and nineteen months for Tim. Holy shit balls! Hmm. 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 Doing some sexy BG three for uh, nonstop. Hmm. Nice. More hype. No, put the hype train away. I didn't. You finished Maze's Magnum Opus. Nice. Nicey, nice. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on. I realized that I didn't have my uh, my heart rate monitor set up right. I couldn't get it to turn on. I was like fiddling with this damn thing. And I'm like, why won't you turn on? And then I realized I had a setting wrong. On my phone. It was entirely my own fault. Um. Yeah. My own fault. Daddy! Yes! Oh my god, that is the best magnum opus ever. I love it. Who did a thing? How no! Stop! Ah! Thank you for the minis! Congratulations to Adaska for getting first. And third. And Tim for getting second. And not letting Adaska get everything. Thank you. Oh, four head kisses for Adaska. And for Tim. Every time oh they well, I guess I guess they were eating them. Self-care package for Tim. Thank you. Wait, no, put that hype train away! Ah! Oh. Forehead kisses for Remy. Daddy, don't you think y'all realize how much I love this? No, 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 Thank you, Aki and Aroused Bear. I know that was you. Guys, thank you. Your job here is done. <laughs> Aki, wait! Come back here! Aki! Aki, come back here! You don't get to lurk yet! Come back here! Akinzi. Akinzi. Um, now you can go. <laughs> oh, wow, an anonymous dis- <laughs> Yeah! Yeah! Rouse, I wonder who did that! Hmm... Hmm. <laughs> Aki over here trying to slide out without getting a, a smooch. Couldn't be you? Ah, uh, mm-hmm. Sure. Sure. Oh. Oh, that's cute. Astra love. That's really cute. Couldn't be you. So how are you liking Baldur's Gate 3? Because a couple of my friends have been, like, mm, nagging, I think is the word. Nagging me to try it. I think I think the word we could use is nagging. Is that the, is that the word we're going to go with today? Yeah. And if they weren't streaming, I'd be like, hmm. Confirming that word with them. I think that's the word. <laughs> I love it, but you're also a DM for normal, so you're all about it by default. But so, how do you feel about the, trying to play D and D without a DM? Because I'm not sure how that even works. Like, how do you, how do you D and D using the guidebooks as actual rules? Because. They're not rule books, they're guidebooks. 
the rule of cool is still the way it's supposed to be, isn't it? Doesn't that, doesn't that kind of like break the whole thing when you're like... You don't have the cool DM to sit there and be like, Ah, well, maybe you didn't see that, you know? I don't know. To me, that takes away the spirit of the whole D&D thing. The DM is always right. Where's Lena? I need. I would. I uh, um. Uh, I need to take a screenshot of that. The print screen. Open paint. Paste. That's that's going. That's that's uh. I I caught you, Remy. <laughs> I caught you red-handed, Remy. PG3 basically gives you a lot of freedom to do that. Oh! I'm gonna really walk it through a hall. You start panicking? <laughs> <laughs> that does sound kind of glorious. I gotta, I gotta send this, uh... This, uh... This, uh do, 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 do. Yeah, that's right. I really did send that to Lena. <laughs> You are a good little guy. Never gone against our dungeon mommy's words. Just some things aren't even possible in an actual D&D game. So, Lena and I were actually talking about D&D today. Because there are some things that happen in D&D games that are just so absolutely out there. And we were having a good laugh about it. Because... There is nothing quite as amusing as human um, imagination, right? There, there, there are things that humans can come up with that are just so batshit bonkers. Hi, Raven. Um, how are ya? And so there's an example that I like to give when I'm talking about the batshit bonkers things that people can come up with. Uh, that, uh, not, not tonight. I got, my shoulders are going to be taken up by chibis here shortly. Because we're playing Soma, and Soma, I need chibis. Um, uh, damn it. I, there's a, there was a website when I was a teenager called Nuclear Power. And, was it Nuclear Power? Yeah, Nuclear Power. But Nuclear was spelled funny. Oh my god, thank you guys for the level 2 hype train. I appreciate you so much. And, on there, it was, it was called 8-Bit Theater. In 8-Bit Theater, there was a dude. His character's name was just... Black Mage. Black Mage had sword chucks. He made sword chucks. And he would hurl them at people and use black magic to control them. And it was just Final Fantasy plus D and you know, you know, Final Fantasy plus D and D equals weird. And it was hilarious. And it was amazing. And yes, Adaska, 8-bit theater was made of win. And there's a little combos the game allows. Little stacking boxes, you know, so... Oh, that's interesting. Heck yeah. She asked you about the idea she hadn't. She's she's all she asks me about a lot of things, Tim. We we bounce things off of each other all the time. Me and Lena talk about a lot of things. Forehead kisses for broken. <laughs> Me and Lena have very, very good communication. We talk a lot. And, uh, some of the things that get bounced off of each other's foreheads are very random. Very, very random. Got to add for IMVU today on YouTube. IMVU. Wow. My best friend's little sister. Uh, one of my my one of my IRL best friends when I was a teenager. Her little sister did IMVU. I didn't get into IMVU. I was that was younger than me. That was that was not my thing. I did I did other things, but uh, yeah, I did other weird things. But wow, that's that's insane. 
I did a Coca-Cola. Um, Coca-Cola had its own chat room for a little while. I did that. And it did music. So I was using a built-in music generator to make music. That was fun. IMVU is a chat room where you have little avatars that are pre-made that you slap together. You kind of walk around with your little avatar and talk to people. It's like, little, it's like the Habbo Hotel, but prettier. And, um, teenagers did a lot of questionable things. And it's like Second Life, but not as, not as, um, uh, um, advanced. Yeah, it was like Gaia Online, but not as anime. I have flashbacks for emo corner. <laughs> it's like a penguin. And that is penguiny. <laughs> it seems like a trap. Yeah, there were lots of traps. Everybody would, would like, you know. There were a lot of uh, <coughs> questionable things that happened on IMVU. There were a lot of questionable things happening everywhere. You love these descriptions. Uh, <laughs> it is it is a thing. It is a thing. Um But yeah, so people had yes broken. Yes, people did cybering everywhere. Anywhere there were two or more people in in and around it. They were having cyber sex. It was a thing. I remember hearing about wow, RP server got a little split. I got news for you, Remy. Final Fantasy XIV has RP cipher, <laughs> RP happening on it all the time, and it's just like, would y'all horny people go sit in a corner somewhere and let us play our game? <sighs> That's why Air cracks those jokes that he cracks when he's running around uh, Limsa Limsa. Because that's where they are on our server. They're the naked people running around Lipsa. Be servers. <laughs> RP exists in medium. <laughs> yep. Yep. Pretty much. Oh, look. A horror game. Yeah, Do you like that segue? <laughs> Like, ERP is a thing. There's nothing wrong with it. I enjoy it. It's fun. I, mm. It's spicy content, and I love me some spicy content. <sighs> but, unfortunately, on sites like IMVU, it's mostly uh, overrun by teenagers. And that is not... That is not a place for adults. They <laughs> really got correct forms and waivers. Ah! <clears throat> I am. I am. View was marketed to teenagers, so it was not a place for adults. You have yet to try this game. Oh, well, we're in the end game. Oh, shit, balls. I want all that, all of that about my blood pressure monitor and, er, blood pressure monitor, heart rate monitor, and there it is. Yeah, pretty much anybody could make an account. At the time when my uh, best friend, uh, her little sister, was using it, it was just an email thing. All you have to have was an email. You don't have to have permission to do sexy times. All you have to have is a fucking kink chamber. Here we go. 
I don't remember what's going on explicitly because uh, it's been, what, two and a half weeks? Thank you, Broken! Anytime I'm involved, it is sexy. Just tell me what you want. I need you to stop the world. What? How? The enslaved protein sloshing around your suit. It's the most rich to power the land itself. What are you talking about? As soon as I came to you, I'm the crown. I tried to tell them to make the toxin of the land the world. Have a nice lurk, Roust. Thank you for coming. Thank you for bringing your community. And I promise not to eat them. And inside of me can kill the wild all together? You are the snake, son. Now strike at the heart. No! Uh, I said I, I wouldn't eat them. I didn't say I wouldn't eat them out. But consent and all that. Consent is the sexiest thing in the world. Have a nice lurk, Tim! And mwah! Core Isolation Laboratory. <coughs> so y'all want to hear something fucked up? All those monsters? Yeah. They're not actually trying to hurt me. They're just lonely and scared. And super excited to see another person. Something's fucking with my HUD. Oh, there's another monster. There's a monster in there. Or is it- is it the dude? Hi, bag. I'm mommy. Feed it, Simon. Push your arm into the heart. Okay, okay. Come I will on. do it. Okay. The hungies. Please, I did what you wanted. Get go, son. You can't leave. The only way to make sure the wild stays dead is to destroy the only one who's immune to the new pattern. Don't worry, we'll make it quick. You want dino neggies? I was gonna suggest you got neggies. I'm leaving. As fast as I can! Be out! Ah! Sweet 
rice tonight? Rice is yummy. I don't think I was supposed to go all the way out. Or maybe I was. Oh yeah, I totes was. Okay, 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 I'm leaving! Fish does not like me. Okay. I am very damaged now. And I still don't know where to go. <laughs> Turn a little later. Okay! You be safe. And Oh. I had hoped that would be, like, a cave where I was supposed to go. Do I go this way? No! I don't think this big fish counts as one of the cool wow monsters that's uh, just scared and lonely. I think it's just a dickhead fish. It's just a dickhead fish. Fuck off, dickhead fish. Nobody likes you. Fuck off! Why? Why is the fish all of a sudden chasing me? Am I going the wrong way? Okay. Dickhead fish? And limping so hard. And no. No? 
I'm not dead? How am I not dead? Okay. Where am I supposed to go? Do I have a weapon? No. Maybe I'm supposed to go that way. That's right, you can't jump in this game. Where am I supposed to go? Like it genuinely doesn't seem to matter. Wherever I go, it still fucking gets me. Are you fucking me in the mouth right this second game? I hate this game. We're gonna follow the damn fish. This is where we were! where I came out, where it initially fucking grabbed me. Fuck. You could be a little down. Let's go. You're gonna grab me again, asshole? That's what your mouth looks like, by the way. An asshole. What are you so mad about? Is it because you thought I looked like a tasty fucking morsel and in fact I am made of metal?
it going? I don't know. When will I get there? I ain't certain. All I know is I am on my way. Hugging some rocks. Can't see shit. But I feel like I'm making some progress. It hasn't grabbed me in a while. I don't know where I am, but I am no longer where I was. Yo, I do not care. Let me in. Very lost. But there's no fish. This has to be five, right? Hope the Ark made it here in one piece. I am still severely damaged. And I'm nervous about opening any doors. Complicated. I just need to know one thing. I'll have both my arms in the arc, right? Yes, of course. Are you okay, though? Can you do stuff? Yeah. Let's just get this over with. Did you find the arc? I did, but I kind of lost it on my way here on an automated tram thing headed to Phi, so it should be around somewhere. That's great. Let's go get it. Okay, this is fine. I found it! Did you find out what happened to the Ark team? Not really. For some reason, they didn't go through with the launch, so they took the Ark back to Tau. I hope everything's okay with the space gun. Yeah, I doubt I'll be able to repair one of those. <coughs> a satellite is loaded into a shell. The shell is accelerated by electromagnets along the bow. Enough momentum to escape Earth's gravity is gained before regression. Reaching space, the satellite will shed the shell and unfold. Oh, that's cool. Onboard thrusters settle the satellite into an orbit. Ring. 
After 10 years of impeccable operation, the Omega space gun will shut down. But it took an apocalypse to be made redundant. Ooh. This feels like the longest day of my life. Is it just been I have no idea. Our time together is a patchwork of moments to me. What time is it then? What day? It's May 11th, 2104. 3.30 a.m. But I don't remember when we started. I'm still nervous about you know, opening doors. I woke up in my bed today. It just happens to have happened a hundred years ago. Sounds like a riddle. It does. I woke up in my bed today, a hundred years ago. <laughs> Who am I? Who am I? Crazy to think where I am. Not only is this the future, it's in the middle of the sea. I know nothing of this time or what the world looks like. Not much to brag about now. Before the comet, I guess it was okay. Yeah. Better not oversell it. Oh, I thank God. About the ark. I can see again. You seriously not gonna tell me what happened to your arm? I had to make a quick stop at Site Alpha to help kill the WoW. What? How? Why? Stop it from torturing the memory of humanity. Okay, let's just get back to work. Oh, okay. What will you do when you get into the Ark? What's the first thing? Make sure the Ark is safe, stabilize flight path, activate solar panels. What's the first human thing you're gonna do? Oh. Watch some clouds roll by? Does no. that count? Yeah. So. Yeah, Cap, that counts. I don't know, after all this, I'd say my first answer would have been half pizza. Take a shower. <laughs> I right. found it! Found the ark. Good job, Simon. Now we just need to find the assembly space so we can stuff the ark into a shell. This isn't it? I guess not. Okay. That's a body. I think I found the assembly space. What do you see? It's like a huge open shell. Ready to be loaded. Are you suggesting we keep it down here? Doesn't that defeat the whole purpose? Eternity among the stars, remember? The people inside the Ark won't know the difference. We can just keep it down here, and we don't have to risk the Ark being shot through 5,000 meters of broken barrel, and then push through another 100,000 meters of a dust-filled atmosphere. Will the casing stand all that pressure? Oh, the odds aren't great. Catherine, say something. I don't care what you think. I'm launching it. No need to be like that. Let's just hang on to it for a while and think about it. We can launch it later. No, that wasn't the deal. We needed to save them. To launch it. Out there, it's hope. Down here, it's a fucking terrarium waiting to die with the rest of us. Come on, Catherine. It's not asking much. Let's just think about it before we risk the only hope humanity has to survive this hell. No, we launch it today. This is my project. My ark. It's bigger than that. Don't you get it? It's not for you to decide. We're talking about the fate of mankind. Get away from the Ark! I'm taking it! No, you're not. I'm not gonna let you ruin this! Stop it! Guys, calm down! Get away from me! No! What did you do? It was an accident. Catherine, talk to me. 
Catherine. Oh God, Catherine. Did you say something? It's you. You had an accident. What are you? Oh. You mean Catherine? Don't worry, it's better this way. Yeah. Sure it is. How did she die? You got into a fight with your colleagues. They didn't want to risk launching the Ark. Thought it might not make it through the atmosphere. They killed me? I'm sure it was an accident. They were just trying to stop you from launching. That is... How could they kill me? Rough. Catherine. I know I'm not an easy person to like. I just thought they trusted me. Come on, don't do this to yourself. Well, you're the one that told her. You didn't have to tell her. Did you have friends in Toronto, Simon? Real friends? There were some. Jesse, Sean, Kevin. I always wanted a friend. Like a real one. Someone you'd never hold back with. I'll be your friend. Oh, pity friendship? Now I feel even worse. Do you think the Ark will make it through the atmosphere and into space? It almost doesn't matter anymore. We just need to try. If we burn, we burn. If we're lucky, we just gave humanity a new chance, a whole new era. With the Ark on Earth, maybe we have a few decades of power to keep it running. In space, we have thousands of years. Still, one hell of a gamble, though. Know? This was never about certainty. It's about hope. Is that it? I'm really not that familiar with guns of any size. Oh, here we go. All systems say go. Lock and load. It looks like a penis. Just saying. <laughs> they didn't have to shape it like that at the end. They could have made it completely smooth. But no! No, they gave it a glance! Now what? Now we just need to get the shell onto the gun and then... Kaboom! Aren't you forgetting something? How are you gonna get us on board the Ark? Don't we need to make another scan? Oh, don't you worry. You don't operate something like the Omega space gun with your bare hands. You mean... It's a pilot seat? Like back at Omicron? Yes, and we can use it to transfer you to the Ark while operating the gun. Two birds and all that. Now, take the Omni tool and plug it in next to the seat and I'll guide you through the final steps. Okay. okay. Why? Why is it filling with water? Why is this necessary? Why does it have to be full of water? Why does this part have to have water? Why did the music just get all ominous? Ugh. Oh, I'll never get 
used to that. Guess you won't have to. Not after this is over. Right. Have a seat. Comfortable? As good as it's gonna get. Okay, I'll activate the seat. You should be able to use the machines to load the bullet you assembled. How do you operate this thing? Don't know, I never tried this one. But pilot seats are notoriously easy to use, so it shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Okay, how do I turn it? Oh. Okay. There we go. That was it. Okay, ready when you are. Just hit the button and we're off. But we need to transfer our minds to the Ark. We also need to make sure it launches at all, so I tied them to a single switch. Just push the button and we're off. Here we go. No turning back. Thank you, Simon. Don't mention it. It's an amazing thing you did. And I want you to know I appreciate it. Seconds. What's the matter with the envelope? Just give it a second. I thought you guys would have better bandwidth. Ten Welcome seconds. back, Revy. I'm left. Eight. Seven. Six. You gotta be kidding me. Five. Four. Loading just before it launched. Yeah, I saw. Then why are we still here? Simon, I can't keep telling you how it works. You won't listen. You know why we're here. You were copied onto the Ark. You just didn't carry over. You lost the coin toss. We both did. Just like Simon and Omicron. Just like the man who died in Toronto a hundred years ago. No, this is bullshit. We came all this way. We launched the Ark. I know it sucks. But our copies are up there. Catherine and Simon are both safe on the Ark. Be happy for them. Are you crazy? We're gonna die down here with those fuckers living at large on a spaceship. They're not us. They're not us. I'm sorry you feel that way, Simon. I'm proud of what we did. We made sure that something of the hundreds of thousands of years of human history survived, that something lives on. Oh, fuck this. Fuck. Fuck this. Fuck you. Fuck you, Catherine, you lied! And I believed in you, I trusted you! You said we're getting on the fucking Ark! We are on the Ark, you idiot! I didn't lie! I can't be responsible for your goddamn ignorance! You ah! Catherine? Please don't leave me alone. She is right. Catherine? Catherine? And that is the end of Soma. All right.
Well, chat, we beat Soma. And in response to your question, Remy, no, boobies isn't broken. Uh, I just um, forgot to unmute the sound alerts from last night. Yeah. Yeah. It's a damn good game. It's horror done right. It's very frustrating toward the end, but it is an extremely good game. Very, very good game. Very well done. They did such a good job on this game. Like, mmm. What play now? I'm gonna play Vampire! Because we beat the game that actually scares me, we're gonna play the game that doesn't scare me. Um. Wait, what? There's... There's more. Well, shit. I'm gonna take an ad break real quick and go to the bathroom. I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Let's find out what this is all about, shall we? Because I am quite curious. Whoa. Is this... Did it work? I have skin? Okay, I can still jump. Ooh. I don't know, Remy. I guess we follow the path. Oh, there's a bridge! Calibration survey. Reading this, you've successfully entered the Ark! This survey is designed to give the developers a better understanding of your subjective experience. Ugh, <coughs> oh, school me. Feel normal. Uh, I feel disconnected. I feel more sensitive. If it's pleasant. Okay. <clears throat> I wonder what happens if you tell them you want to die. <laughs> I'm loving all the viney flowers. Catherine? Catherine! I can't believe we actually made it. Well, we did. I'm so relieved. It's okay, Simon. Everything's all right now. Yeah, Earth got hit by a meteor. 
or meteorite. So yeah, she looking rough. Gonna take Gaia a long time to recover. Okay. Okay! So that was Soma. That was the actual ending of Soma. That was pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. Like, that was really well done. I, um, I really liked that. For as uh, much as that game <laughs> scared the bejesus out of me, it's um, it did a really good job. <laughs>